This is Chapter 18, the Federal Court System, Discussion Number 2, Working in the Judiciary. So other than a presidentially appointed, Senate-approved judge, who else works in the federal court system? Well, we have created several different types of court officers to help the process of processing cases to get done quick, to get done in a good way, uh, and that it's done correctly. Uh, we have a magistrate. Magistrates, kind, you know, I hate to put it this way, it's kind of a junior judge. They deal with a lot of the the, the mundane ideas, the ideas of getting done quickly so that the actually appointed judges can actually deal with the, the, the actual cases, so to speak. Magistrate uh, deals with arrest warrants. Uh, they determine if grand jury is required for a particular case. They set bail. Sometimes they'll get minor offenses to free up the courts, and they're hired for eight-year terms. Uh, the court, the clerk, the clerk maintains all the court records, uh, maintains all the evidence. A bankruptcy judge, every district court has at least one. Some of the districts have more than 15, 20 of them. Uh, they're appointed by the Federal Court of Appeals. They have a 14-year term, and they deal exclusively with people who are declared bankruptcy. Um, now, while we have several different judges uh, and people who work for the judicial system, we have people from the executive branch who work with the judicial system. For example, the U.S. Attorney. There's one for each district. They are responsible for the prosecution of all federal crimes that happen in their district. Uh, and they have several assistant U.S. attorneys. Um, so whenever you watch court cases and that type of thing, you always see that it's the assistant U.S. attorney or the, U, uh, the assistant district attorney if it's a state case, uh, where these are the attorneys that go into the courtrooms and try the cases and that type of thing. And they work for the, the executive branch, whether it be on the state level or the federal level. Uh, the U.S. attorneys that are appointed by the president have a four-year term. Uh, and they also represent the United States in any civil suits that happen in their district, or they have their assistant do it. Also, the U.S. Marshal. Officially, there is one marshal for each district, and they hire lots of people to help them. They make federal arrests. They keep persons in custody. Uh, they're the ones in charge of getting prisoners from the prisons and to the prisons. They're in charge of getting jurors to serve in the original jurisdiction cases. They serve legal terms. And they also, because they work for the president, have four-year terms. Uh, one other primary or principal uh, person in the court system that works for the executive branch is the Solicitor General. This is the principal officer of the Justice Department who works almost exclusively for the United States in all Supreme Court cases where the United States is involved. Uh, they may participate in a Court of Appeals um, arguments. or I don't think they really ever get down to the district level. Uh, but the Solicitor General is essentially the representative of the executive branch to the U.S. Supreme Court. Uh, and a lot of times the U.S. Uh, Supreme Court will ask the Solicitor General to make their opinion known when it comes to different cases. Uh, and sometimes they act as a third party um, during the arguments of the U.S. Supreme Court when it comes to specific cases. This concludes discussion number two, working in the judiciary.